Hi, I'm Linda James. Dave Reinhardt, you find the place okay? Oh yes, very well. Good, okay. If you'd like to take a seat, we'll go over the agenda. Okay, so um, first things first, I'm just going to ask you... First things first, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your experience. Then I'll talk about the petition, and then I will um, have it open for any questions, if you have any questions. I'll be taking notes throughout, just so you know I'm listening. Just keep talking, and, uh, and we'll uh, get started. Okay, so um, what's your uh, highest level of education that you've achieved? College. Diploma. And what was that in? Graphic arts and advertising. How long was the program? Two years. Where is that? Humber College, North Cal. Okay. Um, do you have any um, do you have any administrative experience? I have managed a small number of uh, employees under me um, in a printing environment. Uh, and I have been a team leader um, with three or four other participants. Okay. How'd you do your diploma, your grades? Straight four. Okay, next question. Where were you previously employed, and can you describe some of your duties? My last job was at uh, TC Media, the Division of Transcontinental Printing. What did you do there? I was a graphic artist and a desktop publisher, assembling the pages for flyers, which is Canadian Tire, drugstore. And what sort of um, program did you use? Your program? <clears throat> Originally, we used Quark Design, and now we're using Creative Suite 6. Did you uh, supervise any employees? I was a team lead uh, at that company on and different accounts. How many people were on your team? Four. And what were some of your duties as team leader? Make sure they all have their jobs to work on, their dockets in the morning. And um, as the work was completed, pass it on to proofreading, check it over, and then pass it on to proofreading. And if instructions came in, change of uh, the format or anything, I would be informed and pass it on to the team as required. Uh, what was your title when at Transcom? It would be just Mac Operator. So you have experience with Mac? Yeah. Okay, just one. What would your coworkers say about you? They say that they like my laugh. Okay. So. And I always bring a positive attitude to the work. Anything else? Mm. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, can you tell me about a time when you used Microsoft Word to come through the past? Yes, if there's a lot of text to be input, we'd work in Microsoft Word and then import it into the uh, the text boxes of um, InDesign. Mm -hmm. uh, InDesign. That's a graphic arts program. Page building. Um. Or do you use some other functions of Word? Just tax functions, anything else? Uh, Word, a little bit of Excel. We worked off Excel sheets a lot to put the uh, 
as a database, input the information to the documents. Copy and paste from Microsoft Word. Um, how long did it take when you were using Word? Uh, what functions, were there other functions you used just using the text box? Was there anything else you used, other functions of Word? Oh, uh, not not too much. We didn't spend, it was usually client supplied. So the clients would? Supply the file, and we would yeah. go in and uh, take what we needed for it. Okay. So you take from the file and you take it into... In design. Okay. And then you would. I format it. And, uh, complete page. Good. That's good. good. Okay. Um, can you tell me about a time when you used Microsoft Excel to complete a task? Yes. Uh, the accounts were arranged so that uh, all the uh, database needed for each flyer was uh, supplied in an Excel file. Mm -hmm. So we were also able to go in, uh, take the um, text as we needed it, pricing information, and even SKU numbers for the images. That was all done in Excel. Um, the result? The result was that you uh, we're copying the exact information that the client supplied. So if there was an error, it had to go back to them because we didn't type it in. It reduced all chance of error at our end by copy and paste their uh, database. Did you ever use any other functions in Excel? Uh, graphs, charts, um, formulas? I have made the odd chart in Excel. Uh, what was this for? Just for a uh, graph chart or show something I can't remember. It. I did use it. Any other experiences with Excel worth noting? Okay, can you tell me about a time um, a challenging, tell me about the most challenging problem you've had to overcome with a client? Most challenging time uh, would be mostly the, uh, them supplying all the information very late and still expecting us to meet the deadline. Okay. Uh, as that was set up originally for the execution of the job. That's always very challenging. Um, how did you deal with uh, these problems in their books? One page at a time. We usually met the deadline. We just all dug in if overtime was required. Uh, someone was available to do it. How many people were you work could you often be working with? Four or five on a team, and sometimes an added occupation. Um, aside from working as a team and doing overtime, um, how else did you deal with these problems when they, when they arose? Well, in the industry I was in, you couldn't do much but just do your best. You can't phone the client and say, We know this impossible deadline. Perhaps the coordinator could call and ask for a bit of an extension. But most of the time there wasn't because the press date was set. And if the job is not on the press as required, uh, our company gets charged press time, not the client. In, in these situations, um, how did you deal with uh, client complaints? Uh, client complaints, uh, 
it almost seemed as if they proofed, even though they were sent many proofs and final proof and signed off, the job would go to press, be printed, and it seemed like all of a sudden that's when they proofread the job and found mistakes. Um, I found out late in the years that I worked there that this was their way of shaking us down to get a cheaper price. And where was this again? This was at PC Media. So we would always stress, check your work, check your work after you've done it. Then it would go to proofreading. It was just check and check so that the client would never be able to find an error and shake us down. Could you think of a, a, a specific instance in which you had a problem with a client? Um, a client meeting, perhaps? Well, we always tried our best. Okay. Um, okay. Can you describe a difficult problem uh, uh, that you had to sort out in your last job? Whether it involved uh, in a team setting or a client, just a problem that you had to had to deal with. Well, there did arise a problem between the designer uh, on the account and the page builders. We were always told follow exactly what the client asks for on their supplied proofs and or Excel sheets database. And we would do that, but sometimes the designer would say, no, uh, it's okay, do it the way I said. And I never really agreed with that. And sometimes there was a little bit of an upset because you always follow what the client would ask. So in this situation, what did you do to, to, to try and deal with the situation? To deal with the problem? I asked about it. I said, this is what the client asked for. This is what we should do. And they just overrode what I said and, and, uh, to the point where I had to redo the page according to what uh, the design that they wanted. And they, ultimately, it was rejected. Do you have any any other instances at other perhaps at other jobs where you had you personally had to sort out a problem? Sometimes the client proofs are uh, hard to decipher. There's a lot of scribble scrabble on them. I'm not sure why they're still doing it that way, but um, some clients insist. And uh, you always have to use your be your better judgment to sort sort out the instructions the best of your ability and sometimes it requires asking questions sometimes a coordinator would have to call the client so who would you ask if you were to ask someone i would ask my coordinator and they would call the client a coordinator is like almost like a, a coordinating salesperson that oversees the job uh liaison between the client and the uh the production staff. Um, okay, next I'll just tell you about the about the position. Uh, the position is a temporary position. It's uh, a support services clerk for uh, the Ministry of Transport. Uh, the Road User Safety Division. Um, some of your responsibilities for this job would include um, creating and indexing motor vehicle accident reports, uh, preparing documents for court regarding motor vehicle collision certifications, that kind of thing. Um, there'd also be uh, some backup reception involved, uh, just when coverage is needed, on breaks, uh, lunch periods, stuff like that. Um, it's a nine to five job, it's, uh, it has great benefits, um, and there's also the possibility of a full-time position. Um, you know, you work for the government, you know, staff all day off. It's, uh, 
it's a very good uh, place to be working for. So, um, do you have any questions? Oh, it sounds wonderful. Okay, so. Um, when do I start? <laughs> so, um, it's very nice meeting you. Um, Thank you. Linda, uh, we'll let you know. We're carrying out interviews the rest of the week. We'll let you know by Tuesday at the latest. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day.